personalities of young adults after COVID is changing faster than it should be. We're seeing a personality change that should be occurring over the course of a decade happen in about a year or so. I'm going to share some recent research with you highlighting the trends and what to expect and what this really all means for us. So what you're looking at here is several different graphs. So you see the dark blue line represents people age 60 plus, the light blue line is people age 40 to 59, and the red line, which is the line I want to really talk about, is people age 16 to 39. You will see 2018 to 2024 at the bottom there, indicating the change in the personality dimensions across time. So this graph covers four of the five personality dimensions. There is a fifth one, but they don't cover it, but that's fine. I'll just walk you through the four that they covered. Right, so the first one you'll see is conscientiousness, and you'll see that the red line for the 16 to 39 year olds has dipped. So what the heck does conscientiousness mean? So conscientiousness is a personality dimension that tries to index how structured and organized and goal oriented a person is. So basically higher is generally better. So the more conscientious you are, the more structured and goal directed you are in your behavior and the more you develop a routine and actually follow through with it. So as you're seeing here, the lowered conscientiousness is the inverse, which means more free flow, more less goal directed behavior, less structure in life. So we're seeing People after COVID, especially a young crowd, basically not following through with their plans or even probably really developing plans in the first place. So the next one is neuroticism. So this indexes the frequency to which a person experiences negative emotion, or more simply put, the frequency to which a person might experience things such as anxiety or depression. And in this case, higher is not as good so the higher you are the more neurotic you might present and then by extension the more maybe anxiety or depression might be experiencing so as you'll see 16 to 39 year olds are on average experiencing more negative emotion over time um, which would coincide with the completion of COVID so what you really want to see is that lowered somewhere even in the middle or even below the middle to represent someone that is not experiencing as much negative affect as um others would in the sample data so lower means basically less anxiety and depression amongst other personality traits next up is agreeableness so this indexes the frequency to which a person tends to either cooperate or be a bit more competitive or whether a person avoids conflict or charges right into it so lower agreeableness means more conflict, like you are seeking out more conflict and you're basically less trustworthy of people and you're more likely to be irritated and effectively argue, really. Whereas high agreeableness is someone that's more cooperative, team oriented group. Uh, they might go with the group as opposed to being a bit more of a singular sort of person, right? So with agreeableness, I think the ideal range really is probably somewhere in the middle where you're reasonably cooperative and reasonably like competitive and you'll stand up for what you believe in. So we're seeing a massive dip in agreeableness, which means people are becoming effectively less cooperative and kind of less trustworthy by extension, really. Alrighty, like your last is extroversion. This one's pretty straightforward. Most people probably know this one. It's introversion, extroversion. So the higher you are, the more extroverted you are, which by extension, what it really means is how much social charge you get from being out and about with people. But really it just indexes the, you could say the frequency to which a person seeks uh, social con uh, social conflict, social interactions, or prefers to be more introverted and kind of like sticking to themselves and being by themselves, right? So. We're seeing a decline in extroversion over time as well. So what this kind of translates to is young people, 16 to 39, are kind of staying home a bit more as opposed to, you know, going out and about and being social, right? So what the heck does this all mean, you might wonder? Well, basically what it means is that young people on average are following through less with plans and probably making less plans. Uh, they're experiencing more anxiety. They're they're more distrusting of people and might engage in conflict more and they're simply just staying home more and being more introverted. So it's representative of a society that's becoming less cooperative and more anxiety prone and more like less trustworthy and 
ultimately, I guess, less productive. Now, that is a broad and sweeping statement just to say that this one data set saying that all of society is becoming less productive and less likely to follow through with plans or even create them is a, is a generalized claim, but that's kind of what it means, kind of what it, you could you could interpret it that way, really, where people are basically going out less, cooperating less, and kind of just doing less, but experiencing more negative emotion and negative affect, like anxiety and depression amongst other sort of negative emotional traits. If it's all doom and gloom, what the heck are we going to do about it? And by extension, what do we think has caused this? Now, obviously, COVID is a pretty straightforward one, but I think what it really means, um, what the one of the higher level causes of all of this really is young people are in a very vulnerable state really where their personality is the most malleable and changeable it is ever going to be then it's interesting that you see the older age groups people in their what was it people in their 40s onwards basically their personalities are fluctuating less whereas the younger people the personalities are changing more and this is really what you would expect to see in psychology where young people are more prone to change and older people are more one might say stable, another person might say stuck in their ways. It doesn't really matter. The point is, is that a big life changing event such as COVID has disrupted the normal development of this age range and they're more malleable to, ch malleable to change than the other age ranges. So that's probably why we're seeing this drop off because something big happened and it's going to change them more than the older people. So yeah it's really important that we document this and understand it because we need to jump in and develop interventions quickly before well like before it becomes more of a permanent thing i mean the a lot of the young people in this sample are still changeable because they're still young so very much things like self-awareness and being aware of that um, the general tendency to follow through with plans is kind of possibly dropped off and um, you would re we can reorientate quite easily by re-encouraging young people to get back into it really as one simple strategy i suppose but um yeah that's all i've got for this one so thank you for watching hope you found it interesting uh this research is from the financial times so you can probably just put into google personality change research financial times august 2025 and you'll find it and um hope you found it interesting and thank you for watching subscribe for more